One place that kept getting brought up to me over and over again, and boy, did I hear about it so often, was that Gino can't bring you from behind when the game's on the line. You know, when the chips are down and when you, you need him to go out there and make a play, he's not going to do it for you. That's what really determines what a good quarterback is or isn't. Multiple people told me this. Multiple people have never come back at any point in time since then and said, well, yeah, he can do that. Uh, no, they just go, he can't do that. There's no way he can do that. Well, we've got in Gino the past two years here. I'm going to show you the stats for game-winning comebacks. And you'll see here with Geno Smith in this game-winning comeback chart, I'm showing you that last year he had five come from behind victories for your Seattle Seahawks. And you'll notice, you know, there's 37, 31, 24, 20, 29, 26. It wasn't like the offenses were doing like horrible in these games. And they came back to win at 13, 10 or something. He had a 21, 10 on there against Arizona at the end of the end of the year, where definitely they should have done better, especially needing that game. But five come from behind victories, including the one you had at the end of the year that you needed if you wanted to try to go and get in the playoffs at the end of the year where you had to get that winner or it wasn't going to happen. Notice as well, though, on this, that he had three come from back, three come from behind victories last year, not in 2023, but in 2022. So Geno Smith's had eight come from behind victories over the past two years alone for your Seattle Seahawks. And just as one more thing to note on this list that I'm showing you, if you look at the top here, that's his 2013, uh, I believe it is his rookie year or second year. I'm not sure on that one, but if you notice there, five comeback from behind wins that one year as well. So maybe there's a little bit of something here in him where when things do get tight, when the chips are down, that he is a guy that can bring back, that can bring you back in a football game. But certainly this has been one that's been heavily disproven at this point. It was on the back of last year. Frankly, to me, it was on the year before that he has this component in his game. And it is a skill. It is a skill when the chips are down, when you've, you're struggling, when you're needing momentum, when you're needing a big time throw, when your decision making needs to be perfect and there is zero room for error. It is a skill to be able to call on what you've got to bring for as far as the fortitude to be able to rise up in that situation and accomplish all of those tasks. And even with those five winners last year, he still had one where he could have had six because you had this Rams game right here. This throw to DK Metcalf down to the 40 yard line. The team got a couple extra more yards to put Myers in a position to give him a field, to give him a win. But this throw right here, when you need a throw, the game's on the line. When we don't got another series after this. We don't have more timeouts. We don't have more extra time for you to find your way. We're not going to be able to throw a check down here, Gino. I need you to push this ball down the field. And the defense knows you're doing it. They know you want to throw it down the field. But this is also not just a blind throw that's tossed into the dark of hope and luck. Because when you go back and look at the throw, what does Gino read? I want you to look at the defender closing down. The defender closes down on Noah Fant. That opens up that small little hole over the top to DK. So he reads it off the look of Noah. Noah Fant at the top, not top of your screen, but out of the slot there. Stops, defender comes in. That opens the hole up over the top. And between four defenders, he's able to fit that ball in, which what should have been a game winner. And six come back from behind wins last year if he had been able to get that one in. But this is another, again, this isn't simple throw. It's not easy. This is with pressure bearing down in around him. A good job by the offensive line there, giving him some time, but then puts the ball right on the spot and DK with a money catch where he's got to go up and get it. Um, and another guy in the moment there where you've got to absolutely have it. I want to go back to an Atlanta game, similar kind of throw two years ago. Tyler Lockett, you need it in this game. You got to go down and get a touchdown if you want to go get the win in this one. Play action pass, Lockett. Look at that. Look at this hole he's throwing into between these four defenders. And I'm not cherry picking here some middle portion of the game or some first quarter throw where it's on one of the, you know, 10, 10 plays they've scripted throughout the course of the week. This is a throw where we're just trying to find a way here. We've got to make this happen. And he absolutely laser beams this ball into Tyler Lockett. There's five defenders in the given area. But you have no choice. You've got to get the ball up the field. There is no more time remaining. So what happened on this drive? How did this did this how did the Atlanta come back for stall? Did it happen on the back of Gino? Was was that what accomplished that or was it something else? Because Gino comes back a couple of plays later, throws this to Rashad Penny. Rashad Penny gets up the football field, tackle down at the 10 yard line. 
So first and 10, right? First and 10, you're dancing. Everything's looking good. Nice little play design here by Waldron coming back. Defense flows into the right direction just the way you want it. Down to Penny. But on that play, you actually had an offensive hold. So it took it back 10 yards. Gino comes back, completes a six-yard throw. And then this happens after that six-yard completion by Gino. Austin Bythe blows his block right from the jump to Grady Jarrett. Grady Jarrett gets the sack. Seahawks are at the 39-yard line. They need to get a touchdown here. They can't settle for a field goal. You can see Grady Jarrett just completely whoops Austin Blythe from the rip here off this snap. Much like we will hope to see Byron Murphy do in the near future. That's your Byron Murphy comp guy there that we hear a lot about here in Grady. And he gets the sack and he takes it away. So Gino comes back the next play. He comes back the next play. And you have no more plays left to go with. It turns into basically a Hail Mary situation where he throws the interception. The people that say Gino can't bring you back from behind, look at that. Then they go, see? See, I told you he doesn't have that ability in him right there. And that's where I want to get to really on the discussion talking about this is just, I understand that they're going to be the anti-Gino folks and they'll be the pro-Gino folks. And I'm always open to having my mind convinced of the anti-Gino sentiment of this. You can bring me that side of it. I, I know I'm certainly going to be accused as much as anybody of being a, a Gino stan or, or one of those people that is essentially uh, waving pom-poms for him. I'm very much not. I just appreciate really good quarterback play, especially as I showed through a lot of those different cut-ups when there's a multitude of things happening that I know go right back directly to the quarterback's shoulders and what he's accomplishing on the play to get that done. And I, I, I just think that the people that have so thoroughly bur buried their heels in that Gino is not the guy that can get this done or he'll no part of this future or he can't take us to a great season if you give him more help. Because that's what it did come down at the start. What happens when instead of 28th best pass protection, you can get him up to like 15th? Can Grubb get him up to 15th, especially in Grubb's quarterback-friendly offense, which gets the ball out of the quarterback's hand very fast? Can you do that a little bit more often for Gino? Can you make his job easier? What happens when we make Gino's job easier? 